Hey guys, welcome back to Top Tipper Betting Tips. I trust you had a fantastic Christmas with your family and you're getting ready for the racing that's going to be taking place out at the Vol. I'm going to have the postman tipping out at the Vol, so I'm going to hand you over to the postman for his uh, analysis. So here's the postman. Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, no matter where in the world you guys are. And again, a big warm welcome to the Top Tipper family. Racing comes to us on the 27th of December, and we're racing from the Vol Classic track. Before we get into that, guys, we didn't have a bad day um, at Turfontaine. Flower Bomb came home for us, yeah, and we made we all made a couple rand. So very, very good. Um, that's far. Had a very, very good Christmas, and I hope you guys did too. Um, and let's see what. The Vol Classic track holds for us. Guys, some tricky races, um, especially when we get into the last. But let's go through together. Eight races carded. First draw for 12.35. And my first selection here, this will be the first leg of the bipod. And quite a strong first selection here is horse number four, Back to the Future. It's the Manga Kamala for Paulie Matchett. Uh, nasty drawn at four. I think this will jump. I think we'll sit handy. And I really think that this is the horse to beat. For second, we've gone for five green bubbles. Uh, Jeff Seister for Stewie Pettigrew. This did finish in front of, uh, my apologies, this did finish behind our first selection. Um, and I really cannot see this one turning the tables. For third, We've just thrown in hot six, Memorial Day, Gavlerina for the Moffat Yard. This has had several attempts to break a maiden. Still a maiden um, after 10 runs, but in this field, good enough to fill in one of the minor spots. And for fourth, I've thrown in the first time I had Dusky Rose. And this daughter, Pomodora, could be anything. And um, if we're taking... Uh, quartets, trifectas, I would throw the first timer in as well. But I think four is the right one, and banker in the bipod. So the first race, we've gone four, five, six, and ten. Move on to the second race on the card. This is Joff at 13.05, first leg of the plate accumulator, a maiden plate over 1,450 meters. And again, I think this is the best bet on the card in the second race. And my first selection here will be horse number 10. And this is Celtic Rumours. Uh, Calvin Habib for the Terry Yard. Nasty drawn at one. Ran on strongly last time out over 1,200 metres. I certainly think the 14 will suit this one down to the ground. Um, the fourth horse behind Kinky Boots has come out and won since. And I think 12 to 10, 13 to 10, I think is a good price. And as I said, best bet on the card. I followed up with four, nine, and one thereafter. Move on to the third race, guys. And the third race is the first leg of the pick six. Third race, you're off at 13.35, a maiden plate for over 1,800 meters. And I think this event is more open than the betting suggests. And my narrow first selection here will be horse number eight, American Star. Gavlerina for Tyrone Zaki. This one is drawn a little wide, but I think that um, Gavin will have plenty of time to get this one over. And I certainly think that this one will be running on when others have cried enough. And run about five, five and a half to one. Um, I'm certainly going to take a couple all to come place bets with this one and a couple doubles with this one as well. My second selection here is horse number three, and this is Battlegrounds, among the Kamala for the Hodolakis yard. Um, Former is there for all of us to see. Um, coming back from a 13-week layoff, maybe just in need of the run. But again, bar, uh, bar pots and pick sixes cannot be left out. For third, I've thrown in horse number nine, and I'm going to include this one as well in all... My Exotics, this is a Fox Duty. Uh, Cabela Mazziani for the Pedigree Yard. Um, first time out wasn't a bad effort. Last time out went off favourite, was backed in. Did let the side down. But 
I certainly think this one could be a little better than that form, and I suggest throwing this one in um, all your exotics as well. For fourth, we've thrown in horse number four, prime example, Ryan Munger for the fortune yard. I think this one will jump. I think we'll get to the front. This has had many, many chances. Um, still a maiden after 15 runs. And I still don't think there's others better in the field. Um, but if you're taking quartets and trifectas, throw this one into the back end. So race three, we've gone eight, three, nine, and four. Pick six, we're taking the three, eight, and nine. We'll move on to the fourth race on the card. This is the first egg of the first jackpot. A off at 14.05, a maiden plate for three-year-old fillies over 1,800 meters. And in this event, my first selection here is horse number two, Sola Diva. Ryan Munger for the Tyrone Zaki Yard. Um, I know it's drawn a little wide. As I said, I'm not worried about that. I certainly think that uh, Ryan can get this one over. And I think that Tyrone can go into the new year with a double. And I really think that this one will go very, very close. Um, I have backed this one up with horse number five in all my exotics. And this is Broadlands, Coven a bit for the Terry Yard. Um, two decent efforts, was running on last some out. And again, must be thrown in. For back ends of trifectas and quartets, I've thrown in horse number 10 uh, to run third. Um, this has turned the beat around. JP van der for the de Kock yard. Again, this was running on. And again, maybe good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. For fourth guys, I've thrown in horse number one. And this is Pomazelis, uh, Samanga Kamala for Joey Somo. Stable's been in hot uh, form. Samanga's in hot form. And again, I think this is good enough to fill in the back end of trifectas and quartets. In my jackpot, though, however, guys, I'm going to take all four selections. Um, pick sixes, I'm only going for two and five. By pot, two and five. And my uh, again, my selections there are two, five, ten, and one. I move on to the fifth race on the card. And the fifth race, guys, due off at 14.50, merit rate at 74 and a cap over 2,400 meters. And in this event, we find my value bet on the day. And this is my first selection, horse three, Banner Bridge. Cabela Mazziani gets a ride here for the Dawson Yard. I think that round about 92, 5 to 1, I think is great value. I really think this will be running on when others have cried enough. And as I said, um, good value. For second, I have thrown in horse number six. And this is Royal Mazarin. Um, this is Samanga Kamala for Joey Somo. We spoke about the yard earlier. And again, should be thrown in to all exotics. For third, guys, I've gone for horse number one. And this is a fraud. Real roughy here. Ray Danielson for the Moffat yard. Um, we go back and look. Has got some fair form. Um, last two efforts, I'm putting a line through. But prior to that, um, has some fair form. I know it's carrying top weight, um, but is certainly a lot better than the last two runs. For fourth, I have thrown in horse number two, Poets Warrior. JP van der Merwe gets the ride here for the Mike and Adam Azzi yard. And again, um, won well last time out under the hands of JP. Um, did set the pace. However, I think the 2400 may just catch this one out, but good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. For smaller punters, maybe take one, three, and six in the pick six. Um, larger, just throw in three and six. We'll move on to the six race on the card, guys. And the six race, I think, is very, very open. And the six race is due off at 15.15. Merit rate is 79. Handicap over 1,450 meters. And in this event, my narrow first selection is horse number eight, Destiny of Souls. 
So Manga Kamala gets a ride for the Decock Yard. Um, has got some decent form. Did beat Mojive. Seven and a half lengths to Unzin. Two and a half lengths to uh, Fast Love. Last time out, I think this one is a lot better than that. Four and a half lengths behind Rule by Force. And as I said, is my narrow first selection in an open event. For second, I have thrown in horse number six. Uh, Turpitz, Cabela Mazziani for the Crawford Yard. Um, has got some fair form. But what we've got to look at, guys, this one has had <clears throat> seven runs and is only a one-time winner. I certainly think that had the stable companion, horse number two, um, been drawn a lot better, I think Cabela would have jumped on that one. Um, but we have to uh, respect Cabela's selection, and we've, as I said, selected the six to run second. For third, I have gone for the stable companion, and that is horse two, Sage King. JP Funamoba gets a ride here for the Crawford Yard. Um... I think that uh, this will be this or this one being the second run after rest will strip a lot fitter, and again, I think will jump or be up there and should not be excluded from any exotic. For fourth, we've thrown in horse three. This is Lord uh, Varys, Dagger de Gavea for uh, Paulie Matchett. has got some um, average form in the last couple of runs, is drawn wide. Um, back end of trifectas and quartets um, if I'm taking a pick six so I am putting um, all four horses in there because I think it's quite an open event so race six, eight, six, two and three we move on to the seventh race on the card and the seventh race is due off at 15.50 met rate at 82 handicap over a thousand meters and in this event I think it's a match race uh, between horses five, um, Tombo Walaz, uh, Walwazi, um, Marco Ferenzberg for the Binder Yard. Um, this won really, really well last time out, and I think has got a massive chance. And my second selection is a nice Raffia, horse two, Bronco Blitz. Samanga so Kamalo gets a ride here for Fani Broncos. Last, on, uh, last time out, this one did finish behind my first selection. However, did have excuses, and I think is a lot better than that. And I'm certainly going to throw this one in. For third, guys, I have thrown in horse number seven, and this is Stormy Seas. Cabela Marziani gets it right here for Roy Magna. Um, this was running on strongly last time out. I think that the 1,000 meters, in my opinion, is a touch too short. 1,200 meters, I would have made this quite a good thing. But for larger perms, throw the seven in. Smaller punters put two and five. For fourth, we've gone for horse number one. Uh, another Ruffy, Super Agra, Gavlerina for the Cory Lensley Yard. Um, Malach is a good sort. Did have excuses on that occasion. The Pinchers dropped the crop. Time before that, uh, seven lengths to Sheldon. Did have excuses again. Um, and again, I still don't think they're super aggro, good enough for back end of trifectas and quartets. So race seven, five, two, seven, and one. Uh, smaller punters, two and five. Larger punters, throw in the seven um, with your pick sixes. We move on to the lucky last guys. Due off at 16.25. And all I can say is, yeah, field. Put in as many as the budget will allow. Um, really, really tough. Eighth race, draw off at 16.25, classified stakes over 1,000 metres. And my narrow first selection here would be horse number 13, Dark Tide. Uh, Jared Penny gets the mount here for Fani Broncos. A very, very speedy sort. I think Dark Tide will jump, will be up there, play catch me if you can. And I think will certainly be there and thereabouts with a nice handy galloping mass of 53 and a half. For second, gone for horse number five, Wings of Nike, JP van der for Shailen Naidu. Again, we go and look. Um, has got some fair form. Um, does show pace. And again, certainly must go into um, all your calculations. For third, we've gone for two, 
Samoa, Gav Lorena for the Stidolf Yard. Um, this eight-year-old mare always gives a decent account of herself. Um, Gavin gets on very, very well with this mare. And again, I would certainly not leave this one out to any of my perms. For fourth, we have gone for horse number four. And this is Anaria Dega de Gavea for David Niverhazen. Uh, putting a line through the last two runs. But we go back. Six lengths to Gobsmack, not a bad run. Six lengths to Mokanta, not a bad run. Time before that, did beat Mokanta. Seven lengths to Gallivanting. These are some decent sorts. And due to that fact, I'm certainly going to throw in four uh, into all our calculations. Um, maybe you guys, you must even look at this horse number 10 in the ether. This one went to Cape Town last time out. Was not disgraced, finishing three quarters of a length behind She's My Captain. Um, did have excuses. It's back now in the half out. Um, yo, I think it's a tough task, but certainly cannot be left out. Um, for smaller punters, we are throwing in six horses in our pick six. Um, maybe if you want to take a chance early on and banker and put in the field here or just decide to take a smaller percentage, guys, really, really, really tough race. As I said, um, best bet and value bet are not too bad. Like both of them, maybe the the, 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 the bet of the day is the place accumulator. Um, as I said, for our jackpots, we're taking all selections. Um, guys, just check for jockey changes, check for scratchings, check for betting moves. You take it easy. You look after yourselves. Have a great day. Stephen, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that, the postman. Uh, Dalboy, uh, myself and uh, yourself predicted some nice cards before Christmas and uh, we had some fantastic winners. Um, please, Lord, let us steer the boys in the right direction before the new year and uh, we can open the new year with a bang. I see you tipped the eight race program, your bar pot PA, your jackpot one, jackpot two, and I see you've also tipped a pick six. Your best bet, race six, race two, number six. Sorry, race two, number ten, Celtic Rumors, and your value bet, race five, number three, Banner Bridge. Both fantastic value for the punters. So please, Lord, let them arrive. Guys, enjoy your racing. Um, have fun. Break a leg, and cheers for now.